Hi, good morning, guys, and welcome to this information session on the IT degree program um, presented by CTS College. Um, we want to introduce to you the, the newest and most affordable BSc IT in Trinidad and Tobago. And um, let's just get started. So I hope you guys are doing fine this morning. It's a wonderful Saturday morning. It's very sunny and bright by me. I hope it's that same weather by you. So, so about the speakers, right? So the BSc IT team has three persons. There's Ravi Raghunath. He's the owner. He's the executive director of CTS College. There's his number and his email address. We also have myself. All right. So let's talk about the speakers today. We have Mr. Ravi Raghunath, who isn't here right now, but he is the chief di um, executive director and is owner of CTS College. This is his numbers and his email address. We can reach out to him anytime. You can call him. Well, this is my name. My name is Aaron Narius. I'm the program manager of the IT degree program. This is my number and my email address. And we also have Mr. Nunu, Mr. Sanjeev Nunu, who's also, he's the program administrator. This is his number and his email address. And if you forget all of these numbers and email addresses, you can also email us at our group email, at, which is bsc at ctscollege.com. So I'm gonna leave this slide up for a bit so you can take down the information if you like. So the most important part I think you should take down is the last email where you can email this single email and you can get all of us, okay? So I have a few icebreakers, right? I need you guys to answer um, truthfully, or if you know the answer, just unmute your mic or straight up in the chat. And we have a nice little icebreaker. So question number one, why was the mobile wearing glasses? Why was the mobile phone wearing glasses? Anyone? Good morning. 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 The mobile phone was wearing glasses so that he can hear properly and see mm -hmm. properly. Close, close. Not the answer we are looking for, but I like that your part, uh, your unmute and your answered. Anyone else? So this is the mobile phone here. To see clearly, yeah, almost there. So it could be because it's a smartphone. That is a very good answer, but it's not the answer. But that I would, I would, I would say you're halfway there. Yeah, I would, I'll give you a correct for that one. I'm looking for one more. Yeah, someone just said it in the crowd in the chat because it lost all its contacts. Right. Moving on. Question number two, what kind of computer sings the best? This is the computer here singing, come on. We all love her. Adele. Right, it's Adele. Awesome, who said that? Marcus. Oh, awesome Marcus, thanks so much Marcus. So last question. Why did the PowerPoint presentation decide to cross the road? Anyone? To get to the next slide. Awesome, to get to the other slide. Awesome, thanks so much guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little icebreaker. So let's get into the, 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 the presentation. So I wanna ask you guys now, why do you want to study a BSc? Why do you want to study a degree? So I want to get some feedback from you guys. Why would you want to study a degree? Remember, there's no wrong answers here. It's all personal. It's all up to you. I want to increase my salary. Nice, thanks for that. Someone says to qualify for a higher position. You are correct. Good morning. Anybody well, else? Career change. Career change, yes. 
I'll, I'll looking out for one more question, one more answer, sorry, to be recognized in the field, job field to get a better job, yes. Because I like IT related things and I have more job opportunities, yes. To get a decent paying job at the end, yeah. To gain higher qualifications and learn more. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. So you all are correct. So we asked this question to a few persons as well. And these are the most more famous, most famous um. It is recommended, yes. These are the most famous uh, answers we got. So people say they want to get a promotion. Someone said in, in, in the chat, or oh, on the mic and they said to do a career change. Increased salary, yes. Some persons, they want to grow their own business. Uh, others say they want to do it for a personal achievement. So we had actually had a, a, a grandparent who put his... um kids through school and they're grown and they, they left and they had kids and stuff but he wanted to get a degree even though he's retired and stuff he just wanted to have that personal achievement of getting his degree and he came to us he, he went through his studies and he obtained his degree just for personal achievement and lastly to gain practical experience in the IT or and as well to enhance employability as person said in the chat right so I have a case study here, right? So we have we compare the OJD salary with persons who just had CSEC. So this is the, the base um, salary of persons who have CSEC. So it's three, roughly $3,000. Person who did CAPE or any diploma, it's $4,300, there, sorry, thereabout. Person with associate's degree is 54. But person with a bachelor's degree is 7,500, right? Well, persons with a master's degree is 8,700. So could you guys tell me the difference between a person, um, roughly the difference between a person who did just CSEC and person with a, a bachelor's degree? What is the <clears throat> difference there? Anybody have quick maths? Anybody maths matching really well this morning? Around two thousand four hundred and twenty dollars. Two thousand. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Hey, had a calculator. Open your phone. Or... <laughs> Anybody else? I find it out quick, boy. You could trade up in the chat if you like. All right. So the figure is roughly four thousand five hundred, right? It's a little off, but that's understandable. Yes, for something, you are correct, Alicia. So in one month, you'll be earning $4,537. Could you tell me how much you might earn in one year? How much more? So it's a matter of just multiplying 4500 by 12, right? And you get $54,450. And imagine how much if you work for 40 years, but well, you wouldn't be working in OGT for 40 years. But if you're working OGT for 40 years and your salary stay the same, which most likely wouldn't, you'll be earning $2,178,000 in your life. You can imagine what you could do with $2 million more. And this is just your salary more compared to CXE or CSEC. You could put your kids through college. You could build your home. You could even start up your own business. So it shows you how important to have a degree nowadays. It's, it's, it's such critical to have right invest in it yes you can as well so we have looked at uh the rules of tom the jobs of tomorrow and we realize that uh, everything is kind of being automated because according to world economic forum um the, the workforce has been automated and it, it, it's set to displace about 85 million jobs in the next five years so things as um project managers they are now um, financial ad, uh, ad analysts, persons like big data specialists becoming um, increasing in demand. What is decreasing demand is accountants and auditors. Um, data entry clerks are now decreasing. Now what's increasing is data analysts and scientists. So even you can see like relation ma relationship managers are now being replaced by robotic engineers. So we, and Come to think about it, COVID-19, we all went through COVID-19 um, pandemic, and you realize that it, it, it kind of created a double disruption. 
where persons went online. So we had online meetings. And also company, companies adopting technology with 40% of businesses where it indicated that they were set to reduce their workforce because of technology integration. And I wanna show you some of those technology integrations as well, right? So right here in Trinidad and Tobago, we have stores like Massey Stores Groceries, right? We have KFC, who have a mobile app right now, and even TTPS or Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. And these services, these persons, these companies um, invested heavily in um, providing a mobile application where persons could contact them directly. So like the other day, I was trying to order Mario's, right? And I've been calling and calling, no one answers. So I went to my phone, downloaded the Mario's app, ordered two pizzas, paid my credit card, and it came straight to me. This kind of, um, this kind of um, cut by boycott the, the, the person to answer the phone. So that's one job there less for me. So <clears throat> the, the reason with technology is, well, remember COVID-19 causes us all to disconnect and connect virtually. So this is how I virtually connected with Mario's. I went on their site, on their mobile app, and I which is basically ordered a, a pizza virtually. So I have a scenario here, which I want persons to um, unmute the mic and probably answer. So you have a well-known pharmacy. They also have uh, a mobile app. So all practical is to look at uh, one of their feedback, which says this app is useless. More work is needed. It doesn't select the closest pharmacy and I can't order online. And there are no updates these on the app. So can persons unmute their mic and tell me how could this well-known pharmacy solve this problem using technology? Anyone? By having like a software developer or a application manager uh, take a look at the features that they can implement in the app or fix the current uh, issues with the app. Yes, so I like how you say that. So they, they look at the current issues, right? One of the issues is that they look, at, they look at one. It doesn't select the closest pharmacy, which means the app doesn't select the closest pharmacy to the, to the persons using it on their phone. So how to solve that problem? They have to add map state, the maps. Yes. So in, basically this, mm -hmm, go ahead. What if I insert like, um, as you said, the maps or the location and GPS, everything like that. I love that because that's the first part there, right? Use mobile GPS location to find the Lugas user's location and then find the closest well-known pharmacy using the user's location, which is awesome. And the last part where person said they can't order online, we simply implement an e an e-commerce application solution to the, to the, yes, Jabari is user location, awesome. So the last one is to implement an e-commerce application solution to the application. So this little practical here shows us, or basically this, app, this practical gives us a little insight of what the degree is. We are looking at problems right in Trinidad and Tobago, even other companies worldwide, and we wanna use technology or present technology and how to solve these problems. So thank you guys so much for participating. So let's move on. So why I study with the University of Bedfordshire? So the, the degree that we have, the BSc IT, comes from the University of Bedfordshire from the UK. So it is not our IT degree or offering, but it's University of Bedfordshire's degree. So CTS is just teaching the program, but the program is awarded by the University of Bedfordshire in the UK. Just like CXC is really in Barbados, you didn't get, you didn't do CXC directly with CXC, but you did it with your local schools. So like you did it with say presentation college and these other local schools, but the awarding body comes from Barbados, which is CXC. So little about University of Bedfordshire. University of Bedfordshire is a hundred years old. They have more than a hundred, they have more than 20,000 students from all over the world from 120 countries. There are five um, campuses in UK, which means one are Luton and Bedford. 
They have education partners from all over the world as well, to try and, from China to the Middle East, to Europe. Hello. And even, hi. Hello. Hi, you hearing me? Oh, are, are you on the phone? Okay. So, we they have in the internationally wrong, renowned um university um they basically place on the top six in the world and the best universities in the world, and they have they are the winner of the Queen Anniversary Prize in 2013. So the Queen Prize of the one is a is a prize which is the highest form of national recognition in the UK. So the university of Bedfordshire have a rich history and is one of the best in the world. So why study at CTS College? So before I can continue, is there anyone here new to CTS College who never did a program at CTS College? Yes, sir. Did a program. Oh, yes, sir. So you guys are new to, the, to CTS College, yeah. right? Yes. Awesome. Yes, I, love, I love to hear you guys, right? So I, I love it that you guys are mute and, and, and present your answers and even ask questions later on, right? So I encourage you to. So we love to have new students because we love them to experience our, what it's like to be a CTS student. So why study our CTS college about us? So we are, we are a private institution. We have existed over 22 years in the educational in industry. We are ACTT recognized. We offer a wide range of programs from preschool so we have a primary school, we have a secondary school. Now we have offering diplomas, we have a bachelor's degrees, and even now our master's. So basically, we we provide education from the from the cradle to the grave, and we offer a wide range of professional development programs. Also, more about CTS College, we have won over one hundred and six ABE World Prizes since two thousand seven. And ABE World Prize means. Um, person who got the highest in uh, a paper in your ABE setting. So we have 106 persons got the highest in the world from right here in Trinidad and Tobago. We are winners of over 74 um, university awards from the University of Hertfordshire. We are winners of two awards from the ABMA, Academic um, Achievement Awards. And we are winners of seven, 11, sorry, ACT awards, six is student support and three is excellent service established by QMS. So we are very uh, honored and we are very proud of our awards. And we are particularly pr proud of our student support awards we got right locally from ACTT. So we, are, we go all out for our students. <clears throat> so we are gonna show us, a, a, show you guys a bit of our experience in delivering the BSC IT. So we have, we have experience delivering it for over 15 years. Our average pass rate for, for each module or unit is over 90%. We had, our, we had over 20, um, 2,000 applicants over the years, over 1,750 um, BSc graduates with 500 first-class honors and graduates employing various sectors in various industries in different aspects of the, even in the world. So we have two students. One student actually in, in Chicago. He's an IT manager and one working in Barbados as the, in the United Nations. And I wanna show you some results from our last semester. This is one of our, this is the units from the semester. And these are the, the, the past percentages. So if you look at level four, our part rates are in the 90, is 96 and 99, so it's over 90%. In level five is 95 and 92, which is also over 90%, but look at level six. Level six, everyone passed in our level six in the IT degree program which is awesome. So overall, we have a, a pass rate of 98% overall for that semester. So I wanna show you now some features of the BSc IT, right? So when we were looking at starting a BSc in IT, students and employers shared that they would like a program that was first of all accredited. So the person, students could work anywhere around the world Students could travel without a travel for some reason. The program is accessible. So you can log in on your laptop or your computer. Or even sometimes there's no persons on the phone when they're driving home from, from work. They log into our classes and they get to hear 
um, the lectures and stuff, but even on the university website, they have a lot of information there online. They could go through as well. So <clears throat> employers also want something that's practical because they want persons to come and hit the ground running if possible. So sorry, I was just checking the chat. I saw some new stuff in the chat. So <clears throat> it's accelerated, which means you can finish it in two years and eight months thereabout. And it's very affordable. And I'm gonna show you the affordability and stuff after, but this is one of the most affordable degrees in Trinidad and Tobago. So firstly, the IT degree is fully accredited. So it's accredited by the Quality Assurance Agency. The Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education, which is a UK independent body that checks on the standards and quality in the UK, the quality advises the government on applications for degrees awarding powers and have the right to call a university in the UK. So the University, the university of Bedfordshire went through QAA and they were approved to be um, a, a governing body to award degrees. Also right to ensure that University of Bedfordshire is recognized as a awarding body by ACTT. So transnational. So transnational means that you are uh, uh, a student of, uh, uh, for like if you apply to this this degree, you'll be a student of the UK, but you are living in Trinidad, right? So what this means is that the transnational quality from the University of Bedfordshire, they are actually uh, check and um, approve all our marketing and promotion material. They approve all admissions. So we would do the application, the forms and stuff and send it to the university and they would approve they would approve all our teachers, our lecturers, all our persons who review assignments and these other stuff. They provide all the teaching material. So we don't have the teaching material. They send us all the teaching material and we tweak our, the material to suit us. So everything you learn is from the University of Bedfordshire. Even the assignments are sent from the University of Bedfordshire and are marked by them. And they also do annual audits just to make sure we are in check with everything that they approve, and they also give us continuous feedback and review. All right, any questions so far? Okay, awesome. So I wanna show you, um, when you up when you do this um, BSc in IT from University of Bedfordshire, you actually get a certificate from the University of Bedfordshire, it's not from CTS College, so this is actually my degree. I finished February this year. And this is how your degree would look. Just replace, let's think about your name being in place of mine. And that will be your degree with a first class as well. Probably date will change as well, but this is how it looks. You are not getting a CTS college certificate. You are getting one from University of Bedfordshire. So the degree is also globally accessible because they have more than 20,000 students from all around the world. They have an online, in, online learning environment called Brio, which is available 24 seven from anywhere across the world. They also have a student support system, which is all, all, um, open 24 seven to support students from all around the world. And right in China, we also have a Google Share Drive with all our lecture recordings, books and material. So I wanna take the time right now to show you our Share Drive. Can you guys see my screen with a Share Drive No. You see Google up on the side there. So it's a Chrome browser link uh, window. Yes. So when you when you ask when you start a degree, you are given access to this folder here. And the good thing about when I was a student, I was really impressed because I wasn't looking here as that. I was a student first. And when they show give the give me the link to access the drive, I see I had access to all the levels. So if you are approved to start level four, you are given access to level five and level six. You can actually go in and you can see everything that is in the future that's to come. So a bit of it, so level four, there are four units and these are the four units. In next semester, we're gonna do computer system structure and you can see the assessments. You can see the books, the lecture notes. We even have recordings from previous um, semesters. So previous semesters, you can actually go back and look at all the recordings. You can see all the recordings from the database class and then the networking class. 
as simple as double click and it opens and you can actually play those videos from before right in the browser. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to save anything because once you have given access, the access is not taken away from you. So assessments now. So in assessments, you have some um, folders from previous semesters. And then you also, you have samples of um, persons who did really well. So this person got 95 on their assignments. You can open it up. And it's not about copy and pasting, it's about learning from them what is the, the structure, what is it to look out for in the uh, assignment. So you can see, okay, I need to put a table here, I need to have a diagram. And just to get a fair idea, because the lecturers do such a great job in guiding you in, in the assignment that we realize persons also need to see a great assignment also to learn, right? So you can see all this person's assignment, even if you look at this other person's assignment, it almost look, it's a little different. We can see there's a table aspect. To it. There's also the same diagram, but everyone has their own format and everyone has their own technique that they want to present, right? So let's move to our next level. So if you're, oops, too far. So if you're coming at level five, you also also have four units, one, two, three, four. So web technology is what we're gonna do next semester the same structure layout. So we even have books as well available. So you do need to buy any books um, for this program. We have some lecture notes from university. And we also have lecture notes from us. And the same thing, um, recordings from last semester, previous semester and semester from pre um, gone. And also what we did, Oops, I'm going a little too fast. I went too far back. So what we did as well for the web technologies, we also asked someone to do <clears throat> as recordings. We asked someone to do some um, tutorials on WordPress because they have some WordPress sessions here. This is a, a external person who's really good in, in e-commerce and these other stuff. So they actually gave us some tutorials on WordPress. So this is the extra support we give as well. Any questions on the Google Drive for now? Anybody have any questions? Missy the chat. Deadline, when is the deadline for application? Deadline for application for uh, September was the 4th of September, which was Sunday gone. So we, we all applications are, are moving on to January. So I just want to go through level six for a bit. Level six is same for is the same structure four units. Uh, we have. Let me show you the books for you like the level. For the units, my bad. The assessments. So you have assessment brief of what is required for the for the assessments. And guided learning. Actually, it will be CTS lecture notes. So you have lecture notes for each aspect of the report. So even the final report is broken down into chapters. You can go back into the PowerPoints and review the lecture for each chapter in the, in the final project. So this is our shared drive where you have access to all the levels, no matter where you start from. So if you start at level six and you need to go back to brush up on some programming, you can actually go back and look at the classes from before. All right. So this is, that was our Google Share Drive with all our recordings, books and materials from level four, five and six. So the, the BSC IT is very practical where you look at problems around in Trinidad and Tobago and you see how technology could solve it. You also will be building applications for your assignments um, and even websites and even designing websites as well. So it's very, very practical. Uh, one of the assignments which I did was I looked at PTSE and how their, their um, bus system is run. They basically have a Excel sheet to provide um, scheduling for their buses, which, which sometimes buses uh, miss their schedule for maintenance. So I look at our fleet management system with, with Internet of Things and provide a solution as my um, assignment for the PTSE um, service. 
So it's accelerated. The BSC IT is accelerated, which means you can complete just over two years. Each level have two semesters, which is four months long. So, um, so basically you'll be finishing a level in eight months, but there's a four months break, which I will go through a little bit after. So you can clip, complete your degree in, in just over two years starting at level four. It's an affordable investment. So I will show you why it is affordable investment later, later down and what on the payment plan that we have. But we also have a, a partnership with JMMB that could offer student loans at a very affordable um, rate. So you can check that out as well. So how the, shop, how the program is structured. And as I said, as I show you from the, um, the, the Google Drive, there are three levels. So level four, which is ideal for Cape persons or anybody with two years experience or more, or persons with IT certs or persons with three years or more with general work experience with CSEC. Level five is persons with um, a level four diploma or two years working experience in the IT field and IT certs. And then level six is for persons with associate's degree, a higher learning diploma, a level five IT diploma or six plus years working experience and IT certs, <laughs> working IT experience that is. So these are the three levels. And this is how it is going to be structured, right? So level four, we have semester one, which is four months long. Then we have semester two, which is also four months long. So you're going to finish um, level four in just eight months. Then level five is a repeat. Semester one is four months long. Semester two is four months long. And you're going to finish in eight months. Then level six is the same thing again. Each semester is four months long and they're gonna finish in eight months. But there's a little change to the structure um, from our last semester where the university introduces semester breaks in between each level. So between level four and level five, there's a break, which is gonna be four months long. And between level five and level six, there's another break, which is gonna be four months long as well. So in total, if you just look at the time that you're gonna study, you're gonna study in 24 months, which is two years of studying alone, right? But because of the breaks now, we have an eight month break in between for the whole duration of the program. So with all the breaks, it was before it was two years flat, but now with the breaks, it's a, it's a little longer. So if you start at level five, it's the same structure. Level five is one, um, have two semesters are four months long, and you move on to level six, which are two semesters, which are four months long. So in total, you have eight months and eight months, which is 16 months of studies, right? But there's a semester break in between there, which is also four months long. So you'll be doing 16 months of studies, but you have four months break in between, right? So at level six, now you can actually start at level six, which is only two semesters, and you can finish your degree in eight months. Any questions? You have no break. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi, good evening. Um, the semester breaks, um, can you, um, you'll be able to do the certs between the breaks. Right. So I'm Before. going. I'm not going to ask. Yeah. What can I do during my breaks? Thanks for that question, though. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> great. Super. <laughs> Were you at our last session before? Uh, yeah, you, were, you have perfect time in there. <laughs> really perfect. No, actually not the last one, but before a little back. <laughs> okay, no problem. So what can I do between the break, right? And we can do those IT certs as we have on our website. So we have um, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. You have IA Plus, Web Design, and more Net Plus. You can even do some personal development if you like, like project management, financial management, even business writing skills and more. They could all, you could find all those on our website, but we give persons who are students a 40% discount on all our suits for the break. And it is valid for only students, um, BSc IT students on semester breaks, all right? So during the break, you can actually increase your employability by adding some suits to your resume, right? Awesome. So moving on, what would I learn in this degree? What would I learn in this BSc IT? In the BSc IT in level four, you'll be given um, 
let me move this here. They provide a skill to study specialities, technology, and topics in later on the course, right? But in level four, you'll be having a, like introduction to software development. You'll be given access to Cisco Academy to do CCNA. Um, you'll be introdu introduction to SQL databases. You'll work with Microsoft Access, Oracle, even Loom programming languages as Java and Python. Level five is based on um, have a unit called user experience design, which kind of shows you how um, to design websites, how to design mobile applications. Because first, it's, it's, it's fun fact that persons don't like to look at the hard, um, too much colors in a website, too much um, hard to manage, uh, or even navigate uh, menus and such other things. So you'll be learning how to design your um, website or your applications. Uh, also how hardware and software can work together and develop systems that are secure by design and approach and use some software testing as well. And even there's a unit to prepare students for the, um, the interview room and help you assess or even assist you in mapping out your possible career paths. In level six, now level six is more independent working um, I'm learning where you start in your thesis, your final um, report and your final application as well. But there are also uh, poor, uh, project management unit which helps you with project management and working as a group and also there's another unit that helps you be an IT consultant I'm um, looking at problems right in Trinidad and helping solve those problems like this like the example I gave earlier with the PTSC that was my example my um my report on how a technology could solve problems in PTSC so these are the learning outcomes so level four level five and level six level four is really introduction, again, introduction to computer science. So it's really a foundational level, which helps you for the other levels. So some of the IT projects, um, and these are some of the students' IT projects that we had over the years. So this is someone's um, page that they, they built for their digital wallet. So this person designed this page, the, the, the colors, the, the spacing, everything you see here is from one of our students. And this is the actual application inside. This is this is their version of the same application, but on a mobile app. So these are designs. It's not actually the application itself that is running, but they did a, a, a prototype of the application with their design and submitted it. This is actually someone's um, final year project with their e-commerce store. They did one for um art and the, the stuff for art are the supplies. So this is their um, page to show the description of the item. This is their person's cart, persons who logged in. This, they even implemented a chatbot to assist users in um, choosing an item. This is the admin page. We could change the, the profile of the person. I had one more, but okay, it's not here. So these are some of the examples of the, 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 the applications person did in our program, the projects. So moving on, how can the BSC IT fit into my life? I know persons may be working, persons may be going to school, looking at probably starting a job, a part-time job. So firstly, we have two intakes for the year. So we have February and October. October, February, the October intake just less um, finish. So now we are all our applications going into February. And this is how the, the, the units are delivered. It says two units per semester, right? There are two hour sessions per week for each unit. Each unit is assessed by either two or three assignments, typically. So it's mostly assignments. There are, there are only a few exams, which are multiple choice. The semester lasts about 15 weeks, which may be changed. And there are two weeks break at the end of the semester. So between um, June semester and September semester, there's a two weeks, two weeks break. And we are within those two weeks break right now. So this is the timetable for the next semester. But I want to show you it in a little, a little different format. So this is level four timetable for January. 
So if you look at it, you only have a class on Saturday and then a class on Tuesday from six to eight and a class on Wednesday from six to eight as well. So these are the classes and the empty spots are your time, <laughs> right? So you can do your work from eight to four. If you could get home between that two hours, you could join class and then you could have a lot more free time for yourself and for your assignments and other aspects of life. If you're in level five, you have only two classes, which is only on Saturdays. So from 10 to 12 is one class and then from one to three is another class. And if you're in level six, if you're new to level six, just join level six, you have two classes on Saturdays, um, one from eight to 10 and one another from 10 to 12. And it is recommended that you join the programming class on Wednesdays to get ahead of your application. This is really for persons in, level, in semester two in level six, where we tell everyone to join, no matter where they start from, to join this class. And if you're in your second semester, you'll be starting your, um, your final report, which is our assignment tutorial for your, your final report on Mondays. And well, you have another class will be on Saturdays in your second semester. So ideally, sometimes you only have two classes, you have three classes for the week, but we also provide more um, tutorials, which mean one or two extra classes um, coming closer to assignment due dates. So what support is available? And this is a support from University of Bedfordshire. The support available from University of Bedfordshire is you have course advisors over there, but we are also advise you on how to apply and information about the course and stuff like that. They have um, in their the, uh, academics, they have induction and one-on-one -on -one support. We also have inductions uh, in CTS College. Administrative, there are registration letters, general student inquiries. We also provide letters, um, letters for embassy, letters from um, interest of starting, um, persons who applied or even complete, we have completion letters we do as well. Online support, they have a, a, well, the online portal, student portal, which is Brio, which you have all your study material, you can see your grades, you can even see your feedback on your assignments, you can submit assignments there. And there's also an online library that you can access journal, reading papers, and other resources. So at CTS College, what support is available at us? And this is where we are, uh, we are very proud of and we, uh, at our core is our student support. So these are some of the key aspects of our student support. We give advice, we help persons in their assignments we, by providing guidance, we assist persons on even applying, even we actually up, um, fill up your know, application forms for you and a central university, we guide you in which level you should start, even your assignments, we guide you. We provide solutions for group, group work or any other aspect. We give direction, even information about the program, how to mitigate, because sometimes you'll be running late for your assignment and you need to mitigate, how to access the university emails. We, we provide students with like assistance and help by reviewing their assignments, providing extra tutorials to assist them on completing their assignment. We even do extra Zoom classes to show students how to access emails, how to use Google Scholar, how to cite, how to do correct Harvard referencing. Um, competency, we are we have first hand experience with the program being a VO student. So Myself was a student in level six, and Mr. Sanji Mnunu is currently a student in level five. So we have the expect we, we know the expectation from university for the assignments, so we can fill the gaps where you might feel lost. And we are very solution oriented, that we are always looking for a better way to get things done. And we provide the direction for students and suggestion on their career path, or even in this, their personal life. So we, this is our core and our student support. We are for you, you can call us. We, I get calls all 10 o'clock at night from students. I, I wake up as early as five and I see students message me and I call them back and they answer at five in the morning because we realize that these are the times students do their assignments, do their work and mornings for um, submission. We call everybody, we make sure everybody um, up, um, submits and those who don't submit, we apply for mitigation so that they could um, submit at a later date and get this stuff marked. So we go all out for our students. So I just want to introduce to you guys, we have also a BSC IT page, which is BSC underscore IT underscore CTS College. It's on Instagram. So you can connect with us there as well. 
And recently I had a, 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 a very small um, competition where I asked students to give me their feedback. And these are some of the feedbacks that I got. So Mr. Vijay said, my time at City College was great. Ravi and Karan did a good job in putting together material for us to use outside of class, which helped me a lot because I ended up missing a lot of classes. They were great with their guidance on their assignments. So because of the support staff, I was really, it was able to easily complete my degree while working full time. This other person said, I'm currently a student at CTS College and I can confirm that they have a great quality of education. They never shy away from assisting once you ask. You never have to hesitate to reach out, especially with such a welcome environment. I 100% recommend CTS College and the BSC IT program in, a, to, in particular to anyone with an interest in IT. And this third person said, as a present student of this program, I can confirm that CTS College not only has a superb customer service, but also provide great assistance in teaching subject material and addition guidance for assignments. And I encourage anyone who's involved, who loves, sorry, for IT to sign up for the BSc Information Technology degree at CTS College. And we are so blessed and so privileged and honored to see this feedback from our students. So, a little about induction. So we will be providing induction right before class start. And the induction is really to guide students on how and what is required from them. So to introduce, introduce the course and the structure of the course, um, we also do referencing guidelines because there's a particular uh, referencing format that needs to be done in all assignments, gain useful study tips and skills to succeed, and even have academic writing workshops where we help students with their writing for assignments. So our faculty are uh, leaders in, in each um, industry they're in. We have people who are IT consultants who work on projects. We have persons who will um, database administrators who teach um, databases. We have persons who wrote networking books, Mr. Glenn Singh. He actually wrote a good few networking books and he's our le lecturer for networking. And programmers, who are full-time in programming, they are programmer um, take lectures as well. So persons in our teaching, they don't only know the theory, but they know the practical side of it in the working field as well. And how would you be assessed? So assessment basically means you'll be given some uh, uh, solution, uh, problem, sorry, and you, you could do, provide a solution either through group work, uh, individual projects, or even writing an uh, uh, essay about it. There are some exams, you're, you're gonna do some presentation as well and some portfolio. And we provide constant feedback for these assignments as well. So students would send me this week, so a lot of students send me their assignments, I looked through it, I corrected some minor grammatical errors and I also provide assistance on, on guidance on you should write like this, you should focus on this and really guide them through their assignments. So how to pass a unit? So each unit is, is an ag aggregated grade of 40% or more to pass the unit. So in order to pass the unit, you must attempt all assessments. So you will be given two assessments per unit. One will be worth 30% overall. One will be worth 70% as well overall. And once the aggregated grade is 40% or more, you will pass the unit. And how to progress from level four, level five, and level six. You must pass at least three units, which means you must get 40% or more um, in, in three units and you'll be able to move on from each level, one level three next. So this is our honors degree. Uh, the, um, this, this degree has honors in it, which means you'll be given a, a either first class, upper second, lower class, lower second, sorry, or third class honors. And these are the percentages. So if you have a 70% average overall, which means for when you finish your degree and your overall average is 70% or more, you'll be given a first class. If it's between 60 and 69, you'll be given an upper second class. If it's between 50 and 59, you'll be given a lower class, lower second class. And if you're given, if it's between 40 and 49, you'll be given a third class. But our recent results from February this year, we had all our students, 43 of our students got first class in their degree, which means they got an average of 70% or more overall. 
which is awesome. So last year, October, we got 21 students with first class, four students with upper class, upper second, and one student with lower second. But we are very proud of a February semester, which all our students got first class degrees. So resources and what will you need, right? Uh, what do you need to start this degree? We, well, we have Wi-Fi access in CTS College. And we have um, of the core textbooks available on our Google Share Drive. But all the students need really to start this degree or even to excel well is access to Wi-Fi at their home and a computer, right? All other software and stuff we provide, the university also provides uh, Office 365 for students as a, a student um, version of the um, Office suite, where you'll be given access once you are uh, um, enroll and approved by university. So where would you graduate? There are actually two places you can graduate. You can graduate at the University of Bedfordshire because you are, you are students of the University of Bedfordshire. You can go to the UK and graduate at their ceremony. Or you could graduate at CTS College as well. So every year we have a graduation in the Hyatt in December. You can graduate here as well. So when I finished my degree, I got an email from University of Bedfordshire with an invitation to come across to the UK to graduate. So there, the option is there for you. You can graduate across at the University of Bedfordshire, or you can graduate with us at CTS College. So how do I qualify? So with the entry requirements to level four are as follows. So you need to have at least two years IT working experience if you don't have any other qualifications. You could, you could have K passes, any other tertiary qualification, it don't have to be IT. You can have IT certifications, or with CSEC, you could have two years working experience or IT certs as well. So this is ideally for persons with um, who have K passes or tertiary qualifications, or if you are a mature candidate and you have at least two, two working as experience, and it do have it do have to be IT work experience. You can um, apply, and this is some of the evidence that you need is a job letter to support your work experience, your certifications, your academic certifications, CSEC, CAPE, any others, ABE, anything like that. IT certifications, a copy of your ID or passport, and a copy of your resume. And all these things could be scanned. They could be taken a very clear picture of, and you can send it to us. Right, level five. This persons who have a level four diploma qualification in IT, uh, K passes with two plus years of IT work experience and a combination of IT work experience, at least two years, academic or professional qualifications, right? So this is ID for someone who has a level four IT qualifications, uh, persons with a combination of IT work experience or, or possess professional IT certifications. And it's the same evidence as before. So in level six now, persons with a level five diploma or higher degree diploma or even associate degree diploma uh, and working in the IT field could um, get you to level six. They must have at least four years working experience by itself with IT work experience to get you with academic or professional qualifications. So this is ID for persons who have a level five IT qualification, such as diploma, higher learning diploma, or associate degree, persons with extensive IT work experience or who has possessed professional IT certification. And the evidence is the same as before. So how do I apply? So you complete the application form and even I, I ask persons for their um, information and I do the application form on your behalf, which is no problem for me. Um, if you submit your CV or your, your resume and your ID, a letter from your employer, a copy of your transcript and certifications, and a copy of your IT certs as well, if you have. So I wanna just go through the, um, the processes of um, the application process, sorry, the steps between applying and starting. So application goes like this. The university applies by the application form. Then we send the application form to the university. So we uh, compile everything and make sure everything is good and we send it to the university. We get feedback from the university saying that you are accepted. So you get a letter of offer from the university. 
the student apply um, of um, accept. So they're signing you off a letter saying, yes, I want to start the program. From here, the student makes payments. And that is where we register you with CTS College and University of Bedfordshire. And then this class is start. So this class time had us change, right? The really new start date is in January. So please forgive me for that. So how much will it cost? This is the this is one of the, the most critical parts of most of you guys. So this is the breakdown of the course for the for the um, each level. So each level, there are two semesters, right? And there's 500 reg um, registration fee for each semester. The tuition that you'll be doing four units. So each um, unit is 2,000 tuition. When you look at all four units for the entire level, that's 8,000 tuition and 150 pounds for the University of Bedfordshire for each unit. So in level six, um, level four, it's 600 pounds. In level five, the, the tuition goes up just a bit to 9,000 and the pounds remain the same. At level six, it's the same thing. The tuition goes up just a bit, but the pounds change dramatically. And please take note, it's 375 per unit and there's four units in that semester and that level, sorry, so it's 1,500 pounds. But I wanna show you the, the, the total cost is really somewhere around 56, but the, the uh, pounds rate right now is about 8.4, 8.5. So it's really, really low. But if you look at 56,000, right? Remember how much you free earn extra when you have your CSEC versus a degree? You earn $54,000 more. So if you look at the figure here, you basically will be re, um, re return investment for your degree will be a year, basically working in the IT, in, in your IT field. So you can basically work a year and cover what you, you paid for your degree after you got your degree. So I want to show you our payment plan and our payment plan is as follows. So in, in level four, each we can pay per month. So in this, there are two semesters, as you can see, semester one, semester two. So at the start of the semester, you're going to be paying the 500 registration fee, 1,000 towards tuition. We ideally ask persons to get it 300 pounds up in front, but we know sometimes the bank um, can't get it 300 at once, so we ask persons to get 150 for the first month and then 150 for the second month. So for the first, at the start of the semester, you are paying 1,500 pounds and 150, 1,500 TT, sorry, my bad, and one, 150 pounds. At the second, at the, sem the second month in the semester, your credit is already being paid for. So all you're paying is tuition, which is $1,000, and your final payment for the university, which is 150 pounds. So the total for the month in the second semester is 1,000 and 150 pounds. And then the third and the fourth months are the same, which you're only paying for tuition, which is 1,000 a month. So you can see the total for the semester is um, 4,500 and 300 pounds. But we split up the payments so it could be more reachable, more affordable, and more manageable for everyone. And the second semester is identically the same thing. So you can see, Within four months, within the eight months, you could be pick how easy you can pay the 9,000 tuition and three, 600 pounds for the semester. In level five now, it's along the same lines where remember tuition went up a bit. So instead of $1,000, you pay 1125 The same 150 for the first two months towards university fees. And well, each semester you pay for 500 um, TT for registration. So you can see for the first start of the semester, you're paying 1625 and 150 pounds. The second month, you're only paying 1125 because the registration already went and 150 pounds. And then the third month, all you're paying is tuition, which is 1125, and the fourth month, 1125. And the same thing repeats for the second semester. Now, and it's level six, it's a little different. Same tuition went up, but university fees as well went up as well. So for the start of the semester, you pay your registration fee five hundred dollars. Tuition this time will be twelve fifty per month. So the first month you're paying twelve fifty, and you're only paying half of the, the semester, which is three seventy five for the first month. So in total, you're paying seventeen fifty and three seventy five pounds. The second month registration has already been paid, so you're paying tuition, which is twelve fifty, and then the final payment for the university, which is three seventy five. So you're paying twelve fifty. TT and 375 pounds. 
And the third and fourth month will be the same because registration and university fees are already paid for. So you're paying $12.50 towards tuition every month. And in the end, you'll be paying $5.50 total for registration and tuition and £7.50. And then it's, a, it's the same thing repeated in the second semester. And that's how, that's how you, this is how you pay monthly towards your degree. Any questions on this? Um, so the, can you give a general total for the, all the semesters together, everything included? So the total is around 56,000, right? But it varies because of the, 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 um, the rate, the rate exchange, the Forex rate exchange, so the um, pounds. Correct now, it's about 8.5, right? So I'm going to use 8.5. So I'm just using my calculator here in some quick months. So I'm using 8.5, because I think it's about 8.6 right now, right? Plus. Um, so it's 15, oh my God. So plus six, six. So the pounds is about 22, then is 10 plus nine plus 11. So it's around 52, 53,000 according to the rate now with the GDP rate. It's all according to how that GDP rate falls is where it kind of either increase or decrease. But if it's 52,000 according to my calculations and you'll be getting $54,000 more when you have a degree versus a CSEC when you work, you'll be paying off your degree in one year while working. Okay. Thank you so much for that question. Any other questions? So do you all have the um, HELP, the help loans? Under, um, um, as a, 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 a um, CTT, um, accredited that's institution well we are we are recognized but we offer our international program so it wouldn't fall under that um loan that help loan unfortunately okay, okay so i'm just moving no problem so we do have a special offer for everyone you can, applicants will receive $1,000 each level, which is 250 each unit. So $1,000 off each level means you can get at least $3,000 off a degree, right? So the, the special offer, there are certain conditions will be applied, right? So you must submit a completed application form by Friday, 16th of September. You can send it to CTS College by to our email, which is bsc at ctscollege.com. And you must pay tuition, registration, and university fees in full by 13th of January. So what you can do, I can go back to this here. You don't have to pay for the entire degree in upfront. You can pay for the semester here in full, and you'll get $1,500 off the semester. So basically, instead of 45, you're paying 4,000 for the semester. And then for this semester, now if you're paying full, you'll be paying 4,000 instead of 45, because we're going to take out 250 per unit. So in all, you'll be getting, you'll be getting a thousand dollars off here, which will be 8,000 instead. Here as well, same 500, 500 will be taken off. Once you pay for in full for the semester, you pay 9,000 here instead. And same thing here. 500, 500 off, and you're paying 10,000 here instead. So you'll be, getting, you'll be given $3,000 off once you pay in full for each semester. So you must, up, must send your application form to by Friday the 16th, and you must pay for the semester in full by the 13th of January next year. Yes, Oh, sorry, just to be clear, sir, the 13th of February, the total amount for the first semester is, uh, how much again? I just, I'm going to hear you to it. No problem. So it's, 
the total in free semester, if once, okay, once you start at level four, it yeah. will be, it will be, uh, the tuition is really 4,000. So you gain $500 off because there are two units there and at 250, I'll um, be getting off per unit. So it'll be 35 plus 500 registration. So it comes out to be 4,000. And then, well, there's 300 pounds for the university. And then it's the same thing for the second semester. Once they pay in full, it will be 4,000 for that semester and 300 pounds. So you'll be getting a thousand dollars off the level four once you pay in full per semester. Um, so um, can you add everything, like what the total will be with the pounds and everything, if you don't mind? Because I'm a little confused when you're saying that something about the pounds after. Just, just, I just need to know how okay, much. No problem, no problem, no problem. Pay. Yeah. So for, for simplicity sake, I'm just going to use a 10 to 1, right, for the pounds, but it is a lot less than 10 to 1. So it will be 4,000 plus 10 to 1 for 300 is about 3,000. So that's about 7,000 for the semester. Thank you. So And that has to be paid by the 13th? Yeah. Total 7,000 average. Yeah, average. So Okay, good. As I'm, you see my calculator, right? So it's, the rate right now is about 8.5, 8.6, somewhere around there. So that's 20, that's, you're saving about 450 there, plus the, what, this is about 65, really, there about for the semester. That's if the rate um, continues to be this low, but we also see that the rate is kind of dropping ever so often. So it was 8.7 earlier. Came down to six, five. This weekend might be four. So the rates, all according to the rates of the GDP, is where it um, affects the cost of the program, really. Thank you, sir. No problem. Right. Um, hi. Yeah. Right. Good I was going to ask the same thing she asked. So it's cleared up. Yeah, because I was saying it's 45 plus the three. So that's cleared up. Um, someone okay. also asked in the chat something I wanted to ask. A hidden RAM, yes. I think. What is it? If do you have a bridging program for persons with CSEC only? Because um, it stated the L also stated um from CSEC to BSc. Right. Um, but here I'm only seeing that if you may so may likely need to have the E's in order to start the program. There's I'm not seeing anything stated. If we have the CSEC, so maybe you can no do problem. something or yeah, that's a little yeah, clarification so on that thing. No problem, no problem. Thanks for asking though. I'm sorry, I didn't see the chat. I didn't have the chat open. So sorry, guys. I'll get to the questions in the chat as well. Um, we we are currently finalizing our bridging program. The University of Bedfordshire had their bridging program, but it was it was temporary move um this year. So we are doing our bridging program, which is gonna start early October. And as soon as that information is out, I'm gonna send it to everyone in this group as well so you guys could see it. Uh, and once pricing everything is finalized, which will be this week, are we going to finalize all those costing and, and class data and these other stuff? We're going to send it out and we're going to put it in a way that once you finish this program, you'll be just in time to apply to start in January, February next year. So we are going to, we are currently um, constructing our bridging program for the course to put persons with CSEC so they could get through the program to apply to start and be approved next year, February. Um, Thank sir. you. Oh, sorry. No problem. So, um, um, and well, the, um, the child, I'm, the person I'm speaking about, um, has um, only CSEC. So, in terms of paying, registering, and paying, but the registering on the 16th for the program, that will that still be possible? Yeah. Once you send me the information. It will be it will be noted that he PSN sent the information by 16. Even though the, in the there are some missing elements, we can always add it in after, like the little certifications and stuff we're gonna do in our bridging program. We can also add it after and we'll put it compile it together. And once those are completed, we will send it off. But we will already know that you pay you I'm sorry, yeah, you sent your stuff before on the Friday, before the Friday 16, sorry. Right, so basically you just have to do the part with the um submitting the documents by the 16th to get to do the bridge the, the bridge and program and be make sure well he'll be inside more or less right yeah 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 once the information is there we we will notice 
Uh, even though it's incomplete, we will even call and complete some stuff. And when the bridging program is completed as well, we will add the extra stuff to the application and send it off. All right, certainly. Thank you very much, Lynn. No problem. So we almost done. So when do I start? This is the actual degree part of it, the level of four. The class starts on the 21st of January next year. Well, as I said before, the bridging program will start early October and that information will release to everyone in this, in this um, information session as soon as we finalize this week. So I was jumping the gun a bit, but you have any questions? <laughs> So if you start a green level four, it'll take roughly three years. It will take, yeah, as I, as I showed you in the in the presentation, it will take two years, eight months, which is almost three years for real. Um, but between that time, you'll be given the opportunity to do little short courses to increase employability and to put in your IT. So, so you'll, be a, you'll be a little more uh, on the cutting edge or a little more advantageous with everyone else who just has a degree within that time. You'll be given the opportunity to um, do some more studies on IT certs and even other development um, certifications. Um, Twenty-four hour help, <sighs> yeah, boy. Sometimes we 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 go all of our students. Um, we, Mr. Ravi Raghunath, sometimes goes up whole night working with students. So if either he works with I work with students in the day, my other colleague works with students in. In the evening tonight, and Mr. Ravi are going to sometime work with students in the early mornings, helping people get the assignments finished. So I just go through some questions in the chat, right? Deadline for applications. Well, as I said before, the application will be pushed to January. Any other questions? Um, so will it always be online? every single session 